one of my favorite chefs, Susan Feniger, is here to share some of her kitchen secrets. Welcome, Susan. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you. Fantastic to be here. So I love to cook, but I love it to be easier. Can you help out? I think, honestly, if I had to say the most important thing is buy, like, one French knife, meaning the shape of the knife, right? And the way that you tell a great knife is you want to look and make sure the steel goes all the way through to the end of the handle. And then I might get a serrated knife, too, because sometimes a serrated knife really works. Okay, I got the knives. Let's talk about garlic. I cut the end off like that, and maybe I cut this end off like this. Like that. Okay. And then I just, with the side of my French knife, I do this. Now, in order to peel it, all I do is smash it like this, and the peel comes right off. I chop it with my fingertips under, use my third knuckle as a guide, and I just chop it a little bit like this, my thumb pushing it forward. Now what I do is I take a little bit of kosher salt and put it on there. The salt is gonna act like an abrasive, like sandpaper. Take a little bit at a time. No blender. I know, no, no blender. Cleanup. Amazing. And you have garlic puree. Whenever you're using anything that's sort of round, you want to cut to a flat side anyway. So no matter what it is, then I just cut this mm -hmm. like this and, you know, take this outer skin off. Now, I'm going to cut it right through that. Lay it on its flat side. Now, I make these vertical cuts very close together. Sometimes if it's really fresh and it's a little bit chilled, you won't cry as much, but no guarantee. Okay, no you guarantee. You might just have to cry. Okay. <laughs> Horizontal cuts, never towards your hand because if the knife goes through, keep your hand flat on the top. Okay. Make a vertical cut like this, another vertical cut depending on how small you want the chop. So you get a nice <laughs> dice like this. I never refrigerate tomatoes, ever. Second you refrigerate tomatoes, it totally changes the texture, the flavor, everything about it. So I just want to take the core out. We'll cut it in half like this so I get a flat side. Now, tomatoes, that's where I sometimes use a serrated knife. I thought serrated knives were only for bread. Who yeah, knew? I know. Well, they work for bread, too. Oh, yeah. You cut it into strips with your serrated mm -hmm. knife. I make all those cuts first, and then I turn everything this way. Then we just dice it like this. Perfect. So see, you get this nice little dice just like that. Thank you so much, Susan. Very helpful tips. For some of Susan's great recipes, check out her cookbook, Street Food. That's all for today. Join us next week on Easy Does It right here on Yahoo.